Okay, in this video uh, I'm going to talk about categorizing pictures. Uh, in one of my previous videos I spoke about calculating hash values which is this section here. Uh, the next section in Axiom Process is categorized pictures uh, and this is more aimed at um, automatically categorizing known legal content uh, in pictures. So um, this only works in the pictures artifact in examine and I'll uh, come on to that in a bit. You'll notice that there is two uh, sections within categorized pictures. You have the option to load a project vic or CADE a database file which is predominantly in JSON format and uh, obviously there's a lot of um, there's a lot of software out there that does support the JSON format uh, commonly or uh, certainly when I used to work in law enforcement we used Griffi uh, which used to be called NetClean and the databases were um, in, inputted into Griffi for example and you could export uh, from Griffi you would then export the database as a JSON and then you could add it in here so that Axiom will automatically uh, process and categorize any of those um, pictures that were identified uh, in those databases. Alternatively you can add a text file so again as you can see I've made a text file for each category and um, obviously that's not the real CADE database there it's just an example on uh, how I or how we used to uh, label them it was an MD5 format I'm telling me it was the K database up to August 2017 and it was uh, like category C files and you can um, change the label here. You'll notice that the difference is um, with a text file it's only like one category per text where here with the JSON you can load multiple categories in. Uh, the downside to that is that they are only labeled uh, numerically so obviously you'd know what category one relates to i.e. category A, category 2 would be a category B and you know category 8 would be your ignorable and so on. So that's the only difference in that if you add them as a text file you get the option to rename the category whereas it, when you laid, uh, load the JSON in it, you, you, you're stuck with a number. So uh, the first case I'll show you uh, an example is when I've loaded them in as a text file so this is a case I've created where I've added them in as a text file here. Again, you enable them or disable them by ticking them, unticking them. And you'll notice that now the um, categories have been generated here. And you'll these are different to a tag. These are the tags from the file system in, in, in a previous video. So these are their own uh, bookmark or tag as such. They're, they're not related to here. And so if I tick these here, it will automatically uh, filter out everything apart from what's been uh, selected here. And as I said before, this only applies to pictures at the minute. And you notice that uh, there's a category column here, which shows all the columns. Uh, all the um, different categories within the column. So commonly what you would do is because you know that these are known values you would really only be interested in the uncategorized um, files. So this will give you the area to look at because all these need reviewing so I'd put them in thumbnail view and it might be that I can, you know, apply even further filters. So it might be that, you know, I can apply a column filter here. So only show me pictures that are more than 3,000 bytes. Which have a skin tone from, say, 50 to 100%. 
So this is how you start working your filters in to show um, your, your, your relevant material as such. So that's an example of when you've added them in a text file here. The next example is when you've added them as a JSON. So again, same case, but you'll notice here that uh, they are now categories 1, 2, 3 and 8. They're the same categories, it's just that because I added them in as a text file, I could label them. Whereas when I added them as a JSON, it gave them a number, but, but they are exactly the same. I've got an extra one there, which was a Facebook picture, but it's still the same. Process them slightly different. then uncategorized there. So again, you could straight away go to uncategorized. And then start filtering and sorting them out to further remove items that you don't want. So for example, uh, the dice here, um, I made a tag called not relevant, selected the uh, dice and added them to the not relevant tag. So, by, by applying the untagged items, it removed the uh, dice as such. And again, you'll see that if I go to the uh, category here, so if I just put these back on, again, the category is not labeled, it, it, it's a number. So, what you would do then is just filter on your uncategorized you know when you apply further filters so here I've got uncategorized and I've got untagged and then uh, if you were then wanted to export these out to Griffi you would go uh, file create report export select the type and then you've got the option to do JSON here and there's uh, two variants 1.2 1.3 obviously 1.3 is the latest one but there's some places that will only let you do uh, 1.2 but if you can do 1.3 and you've got the option here to select which items and obviously I just want to do items in current view so uh, I'm not going to carry on with that because I'm going to make a uh, a separate video for the Griffi integration of uh, categorizing and grading. Uh, I just wanted to keep this video nice and simple to show how um, this section was slightly different from that and how you can um, import uh, different hash lists and JSON files to um, categorize your pictures.